to see if we get a great. Oh, oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> Who knows what he played there? They're gone, and I just won three to one. What is up, guys? Zach Scott here, playing Marvel Snap. Now I haven't had an episode of this game in quite a while, but I've been playing nearly every day behind the scenes, grinding out, getting a ton of cards, and I found a card in the token shop that I've been really looking forward to. As you can probably see right here, it is Galactus. This is a super amazing card in the sense that he destroys all other locations except for one, assuming that you don't have a card in the location you play him in. It can be game-breaking. It can win you games instantly. Uh, also, it can set you up really well uh, to win the games if you play your cards right. Kind of pun intended. Um, I don't even know. Was that a pun? Um, I also have some other cards here. I have Hood, uh, who's there to basically give me a 1-6 for real cheap. Um, Psylocke there, as I mentioned, to bring Galactus out early. Or another card out early if I can. Uh, Cloak is there just in case that I have um, a card in an area that I don't want it. I need to move it out of the way so I can bring in Galactus later. Um, that could happen if someone plays debris and puts rocks in your lane or even like a green goblin or something like that. This may not be the best deck. Uh, it may not be like a deck that you're gonna win on most of the time, but this is a deck that I made so I can make great plays and include them in this video. <laughs> That's the main goal. Um, green goblin. Green goblin and uh, hobgoblin here are meant so that I can throw cards into their lane and make their lane weaker in preparation for me playing Galactus later. Um, Electro could be debilitating sometimes, you know, you can only play one card a turn once he's played, but once, if you play him in a lane and then Galactus is in another lane, uh, Galactus will destroy him and then you're free to play later on. So, he can get out Galactus quicker. Wave, of course, turn three, get Galactus out on turn four, you have two more turns to play. And uh, Spider-Man is there to shut down a lane just in case you get to play Galactus on a turn four. And then on turn five, you can Spider-Man. They can't play at all on turn six. Dr. Octopus is a really interesting idea that I've used. Basically, uh, if, if you're going at a normal pace and you can't quite get Galactus out in a timely manner, if you have Electro, you can get him out on turn four. And you can actually play him on a lane, perhaps uh, an empty lane of your opponents, pull out four of their cards onto that lane. That means they can't play those four cards, any of those four cards in the new lane or, or in the lane that you conquer with Galactus. So Destroyer is really interesting because if you're able to have Electro, like an Electro Wave combo or something like that, you know, maybe you could play Galactus and then next turn play Destroyer and it'll change your lane from three to 15. And that that's assuming you know that it's a good play to make that you can actually beat your opponent with that. Last but not least, Death, crucial for this deck because Galactus destroys everything you can basically, oftentimes, play death for free on the last round. It's very surprising. This whole situation can be very surprising for the opponent. I love it when that happens. I love it when I'm playing a game like this, a card game, and you're just... It, it, Galactus almost it's like flips the game on its side, basically. It changes the rules of the landscape, gets rid of two lanes, you're down to one. This is the only card that can do that. And so uh, we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some great gameplay here for you today. Here we go. So, uh, Baxter Building is the hot location right now. And uh, basically, whoever is winning this location gets plus three power at the others. Okay, we'll see. That lane may not even be in use. Uh, because I'm going to go ahead and play. You guessed it. Boom. Hood right there. I imagine that the opponent is going to be drawn to that lane and starts playing cards in that lane to win. And then I'm going to I'm gonna drop Galactus somewhere else. The opponent hasn't played yet. And we're on turn three, so I don't know if maybe a goblin's gonna be coming out at me. But I'm gonna go ahead and play Cloak to get it out of here. Uh, I don't have... Uh, Psylocke's a good idea, but I don't have Galactus yet. I might get him next draw, who knows. Cloak, to me, seems like the better idea. It's not an ongoing, it's an on reveal. So I'm just gonna play it right here. Putting Green Goblin here will make it such that it's a negative five in that lane for him. Is a Mr. Negative? That could be very devastating to me depending on what he gets. He could have an Iron Man in there to play at the last turn. Okay, I have Galactus now, but notice I, I'm gonna have to play Galactus on last turn. So what I'm gonna do, if this is gonna be a win, I need to throw in Hobgoblin into that lane as well and just really deteriorate that lane and hope it works. So here we go, going in. Yeah, I knew, I, I called it, he has an Iron Man. So he's taking over the middle lane, Hobgoblin's going in the last lane. 
He's at a negative 12. I'm going to be at plus 3, assuming nothing changes. Here goes Galactus, one of the coolest animations, by the way. We'll see how this goes. I'm not going to snap because I'm not extremely confident that I'm going to win. He could do any number of things. If he doesn't Odin... Oh, they're all going that lane. This is great. This is great. Mystique's copying Iron Man. He thinks he's got it. He's got like two lanes set. Is that a negative two? But watch out. Lockjaw is interesting. Wow, Ironheart is going to buff everybody. And then check it out. This is the best part. Whoa, wait, wait. We're not done. Hold on. Brood, look at your pool. Galactus. I love that animation. Kneel before Galactus because I took over that lane, destroying everything else. Turn six Galactuses often don't work for me. Oh, I had an error. What? Reconnected the game. Ah, oh, man. I don't know what the error was all about, but that was a win for me. <laughs> so, I have noticed that sometimes Galactus causes some errors. But that was a great victory at two points. I'm sure that player was very surprised by that Galactus. Okay, right off the bat, we have squirrels on each lane. This is where Cloak comes into play right here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the squirrels out of the lane. Um, I have Galactus in my hand. I don't know when I'll be able to play him, but we'll see. Cards cost one less. That's good. That, that will get him out early, very soon. I need to play Cloak to start moving things out of here. So I'm going to play Cloak. Oh, he's doing Electro too. That's interesting. He's So far, he's played my deck. So this is a little, little concerning, but we'll see. There's... This is a turn seven game. I'm gonna move one squirrel over. I'm gonna move both squirrels over. Actually, that, moving it, so predictable, man. I'm not gonna wave. I'm going, because I want Hobgoblin. He moved a squirrel over. He waved. Dang, dude. Man, I now think he's gonna go for Central Park with Galactus. I feel like he's gonna like do what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna, this is probably really risky, but what I want to do is I just want to massively I want to I want to I want to push this into the lane in hopes that he plays Galactus this turn. Oh, he didn't do it. Wow. Dang. Okay. He did Psylocke. What is he doing? Anyway, Galactus is Oh, he retreated. I think he was set up to do a Galactus. I think he was setting up to do a Galactus cuz now that lane was occupied. I don't know why he couldn't play it right then and there. Uh but wow. Okay, I'll take it. I have a lot of cards in my hand thanks to Olympia, but none are Galactus. And, oh man, the opponent snapped. I'm gonna play it out, Mia. I'm just trying to get cool moments for a video. Right now, actually, I would I would continue right now anyway, because I mean, who knows what they have. They could have anything. All right, I'm actually gonna do something. I'm gonna wave and then Dr. Octopus. I'm gonna Dr. Oct Octopus Shuri's Lab to become a 20, and he's gonna get four cards in Shuri's Lab that aren't gonna double. Let's see what happens. Four cards in this lane, Shuri's Lab, only one is doubled, the one that he played. Jubilee can't activate. Magneto is activating, bringing Wave over. Um, okay, Hell Cow is going to d discard two cards, including Gila. So he was, he was gonna do a Gila play, and then, oh wow. Oh wow, okay. The Infinite, well, he's beat me on that lane. I can only hope for Galactus on turn six. <laughs> Cause uh, this is, I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm going to push this over. Ghost Rider's going to bring back who? Gila. Oh, wow. Okay. And they put the Hulk on that lane. So, honestly, like, if it's not Galactus... Oh, it's Galactus. The only lane that makes sense is the Baxter building. So, I'm losing everything. Surely, they're anticipating that I'm going to play on the Baxter building. But this would normally be a retreat. But instead, it's going to be me destroying everything just for the lulls to see if we get a great... Oh. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Who knows what he played there? They're gone. And I just won three to one. And he snapped. I didn't snap. He snapped. And I got those four points. I would have retreated from that had I not been recording. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, this presents a bit of a problem because at turn six, we swap hands. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to take over another location so that that location is destroyed. All right, I'm Green Goblining the Baxter building, which will take away one of their Angela plays. All right, so I should be able to galact this next round if I use Psylocke this round. And what I would do is I would save, hopefully, Death and Demon for that. I don't know if I'll be able to play them both, though. Death may not have a lot going on. Okay, Mr. Negative, he's at a negative one on Xander. 
which means I'm gonna be able to do, okay, this is great, this is great, dude. He thinks we're gonna be swapping hands soon. We're not gonna be swapping hands because I'm going to Galactus that area. Wow, look at this. I guess he was at a zero, not a negative one because of the, the Xander has a plus one. So I don't think enough stuff got destroyed for uh, for death to be easily playable, but uh, we can do both death and demon. Um, there are some things that can mess me up here. The Mr. Negative could have really thrown things off for me and my expectations, because I'm not super used to Mr. Negative decks. Ooh, so there's, okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. 24, Black Panther's gonna double, so there's gonna be a 10, or a nine, and then, I don't, okay, so I won that. Thank you, Galactus. <laughs> so cool. This could be an interesting round because nowhere will mean I'll be able to play Destroyer and Dr. Octopus in that lane and not be not be hindered at all. I'm gonna play uh, Wave in anticipation of doing Destroyer over there in case we don't get Galactus. If, if we do get Galactus, uh, if we do get Galactus, that's gonna suck then because taking over for Thor is gonna be hard. I'm gonna play Destroyer on Baxter building. Uh, we, we, this will not be a Galactus game at all. Dang. My, my goal is to get Elysium. White Tiger's gonna, gonna go everywhere else. So nowhere, okay, so Baxter building he has. If I can just draw Galactus, there it is. Oh, he just snapped too, dude. Dang it, dude, I can't play, I can't play nowhere because on reveal effects don't happen. He's probably gonna play Odin and send it back at me and then I'm gonna have to do something crazy to even win. Let's just do, I just wanna see this play out. He did snap though. Man, this sucks for me. He didn't play Odin. He played, wow. Okay, I thought he was gonna play Odin. He's, he can still do it the last turn, which is really scary, but here we go. If I'm lucky, I'll draw death. Oh, another, look at that, another error. Let me connect to the game. I don't know why I'm getting errors with this. Galactus is game breaking, <laughs> literally. But this is where, where we are. It's my turn. Um, honestly, what I have to do is, I guess I didn't get Odin, but I can do, uh, I can, I can, just, this will prevent Odin from killing me. But what if I don't do that? I could do Oct Dr. Octopus. This will prevent Odin, and... So there we go. Let's see what he played. Oh, I played Ironheart, okay. He's not gonna get it there. That's another victory. If he had played Odin, it probably wouldn't have gone that way, but I got four cubes for that. Super cool, super cool. Okay, I have, I actually have a great combo right here. Wave, Galactus, Spider-Man, they can't play. Um, I just gotta find a good place to put this down. So, um, let's end the turn. I, I'll wait to snap, because I don't know yet if it's gonna be good. He's doing hood. What if he's doing what I'm doing? I don't know, I have hood in my deck. Um, Electro's not gonna work for me. They're gonna swap positions of location, so. That's after turn four, so on turn four is when I will end up. Uh, oh, he has he has Hood and Psylocke cards that I have. On reveal effects happen twice at this location. That'll be kind of fun. Um, let's do. I'm gonna do Wave over here, so maybe it'll throw him off. He's doing Nova and Buck. Oh, so he's a destruction deck or something. That's this is interesting. So. Uh, here we go, here's the play. Galactus here. Oh, actually, oh, you know what? No, 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 no. It looks like he's going for, okay, Gal he snapped. I'm gonna, on reveal effects happen twice, which will be hilarious. I'm gonna snap too, because this could be awesome. He, he's at a negative two at that location, unless he plays something right now to destroy it. I don't know if he will. Deathlock, okay, great. So yeah, he's at a negative two at this location. He is gonna have a one six I gotta, I gotta worry about, but he's, he has to play this next round because I'm gonna Spider-Man that area. <laughs> love it, love it. Don't crash game. I hate it when the game crashes when I do this. It's just really, the game doesn't crash, it's just like the round crashes. So I'm at a three, is it a negative one? Um, then let's just do it again. Let's just see, let's see it again. <laughs> 
Uh, this is where it gets great. Spider-Man, meaning he... I've already snapped. He's already snapped. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> he's, he, didn't even, he didn't let me do Spider-Man. <laughs> All right, I'm playing Cloak here because I wanted to think that, like, oh, I messed up. I messed up. I'm going to move Hood out of there because I need Baxter building. In fact, I will move him out of there, and I will put the Green Goblin over here to prevent Angela from having another turn or having another card played. So Angela only gets the benefit of one because if he fills up that look, oh, you moved Angela. Ugh, I wasn't expecting that at all. Okay. That's weird. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and play Wave. If I can't do a turn five Galactus, I'm gonna play Hobgoblin over there. This may not, okay, he's gonna be full. Oh, we're both doing Hobgoblin. That means if I were to get Galactus, it has to go in so Sokovia. Oh my goodness gracious, what has happened here? Final turn, I'm winning. I didn't get, I did not get Galactus, so really it's all up to me. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna do Dr. Octopus there, Demon there, and see what we end up with. I'm pulling one of his cards into Baxter, which is a little scary, but. Uh, oh, okay, <laughs> green, <laughs> green Goblin for me. Uh, but Demon goes there, and seven, yeah, okay. That was a win without even playing Galactus. That kind of shows the viability of a deck like this, even without him, uh, but I really wish we had him. All right, so this combo, I'm gonna try to do Wave, Galactus, Destroyer, then Demon, and whatever else I have. The issue is that uh, Machine World will give him a car. That's that's the location I'm gonna go for. It'll, so it'll give him Galactus, and then it'll give him Destroyer. And so I'm the the point is I'm gonna be one step ahead of him. Hopefully he doesn't catch up. So Wave coming out now. Uh, I'm not gonna shuffle things in with Vibranium Mines. He will. So he, he might have a lot of Vibranium to play, which would be interesting, but uh, he's gonna destroy Deadpool. And then get ready, because Deadpool's gonna be expensive for him to play this time. So he's probably gonna hold on to it. Uh, so here comes Galactus then. This will be really, this is gonna be really interesting. So, uh, actually I can't do Galactus then Destroyer because Destroyer's a six, my bad. But I can do Galactus and Hobgoblin then Destroyer. So here we go with that. He's gonna get Galactus, but if I do a Hobgoblin, he's probably gonna Hobgoblin me right back. He's doubling his cards. Is that for, that might be for Deadpool. So he has two Deadpools to mess around with, but now he only has one lane to play in. So this is gonna be really interesting. Oh, he's actually snapping. Spider-Man was a lucky draw. I'm gonna go ahead and snap myself and then do Spider-Man because I don't think that he can he can uh, recover from that. And I'll also, uh, no, I won't put that in. I'll wait just in case I need, I need to do Destroyer then the Demon. So I snapped, he snapped. I don't think he's expecting a Spider-Man to come out of this. He's not gonna be able to play on Machine World for, he's only gonna get this one turn for Machine World. So good luck to you. He's played three cards. Oh my God. All right, he can't play. Whatever is Deadpool, is he, he's gonna destroy Deadpool. Get the Demon and Venom, okay. I can take over that, that's not a big deal. So he gets his Deadpool back, but he has a nine here where I, as I have a six, he can't play. Um, he's gone, he's gone. I love it when I win when we both snap. I do. We just got Weird World. I have everything I need to, to play this out. Electro, go over here to Murder World. You're gonna get gone, and I'm, I'm gonna have the extra power, so that this is what I mean by we're gonna do a Gal Galactus and Destroyer, and hope that 15's enough in that one lane. I will be able to play Destroyer than Demon, because I have, uh, Electro's gone now, that's right. This is great, this is great. We're, Weird World is gonna be taken over by me. I'm gonna go ahead and snap. I got his Shang-Chi, so he can't take me out. We're snapping, we're playing Weird World. And then next round's Destroyer Demon. And I'll have, uh, ooh, I'll have 21 in that lane. Hobgoblin's going in the wrong lane, dude. It's gone, it's all gone. If I'm, he might have death though. You gotta keep that in mind, he might have death. So the only way I lose this is if he has death, which is probable because he's drawing from my deck and uh, I haven't drawn death. But this is the final turn. I got American Chavez. So we're gonna go Destroyer and then Demon and hope that 21's enough. Death would be great, but if he has he, he has one card, it's not gonna beat me. Even if it's Infinite, but he can't play. He just played him. He just played last round. Ghost. Oh shoot! 
Agatha, wow. Okay. One, I won, excellent. This is so messed up because we have Sanctum Sanc Sanctorum where cards can't be played here and then we have a mirror dimension which has a 50-50 chance of turning into the same thing. So we might only be able to play here in the middle. So I better, I better send Green Goblin down the middle then just in case I draw Galactus soon. Oh my God, he sent it to me, but that's okay. That's okay because just in case, this is a Galactus game plan. If I draw Galactus, and mirror dimension, ah, oh, dang it, turns to draw a card. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I drew, I drew destroyer, my deck is full, dude, come on. I have to do a double duty there. He's at a zero in the middle, so if I can draw Galactus, I could play him on turn five, and then I could play destroyer. Oh my gosh, he just took over. He has, if I have if I have Galactus, I'll be so lucky to take over the middle. That will win it for me if freaking yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. This is amazing. I'm snapping. I am taking over the middle right now. He has priority though, so if he has anything that like enhances those cards, then oh well. But I have a, uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, but no, he'll be gone because that's an ongoing. That's an ongoing. I won. Oh my gosh. That blue marble's gone, dude. It's a 2-3, no one can play this last turn. Amazing, amazing, dude. I just won it, I just won the game. He's gone, he's out of here, of course. Wow. Okay, so this could be the easiest win we've ever had. Space Throne means that only one card can be there per player. If I Green Goblin Space Throne right now, then play Galactus later, it's over. I'm gonna Green Goblin. I'll snap afterwards. I'm afraid if I snap now, he'll know a Green Goblin's coming. Yeah. I don't know if he can destroy Green Goblin, but all I gotta do now is play Galactus and totally win. So I'm gonna snap now. Okay, Hob look, he's doing Hobgoblin over here. He's like, he's like, okay, okay, I see what you're doing. I'm gonna win this Baxter, win this Baxter, control everything. All right, you ready? Here we go. Dr. Doom can't send the Doom bots there. But guess what? Galactus, it's over. It's over. It's a three to negative three. It's totally over. Both Baxter buildings destroyed. That's the key location this day. And so I won. What's gonna happen? He's gonna retreat, obviously. But I'm gonna click in the turn. He doesn't wanna give up four points. He's gone. 